By the way, I want to point this out. I'm looking forward to the general election. I think that me versus Donald Trump is the best possible election you could have. We're going to look, if we do it, I want to have at least four debates, four debates in each region of the country. And I also want to have a debate between just our hair <laughs> as a tiebreaker. That would be amazing. I just, what, what do you, I, I, By the I, way, he's from Queens. You know that. And I'm from Brooklyn. Oh, shit. It would be, look, if it's That's like Trump, the Oklahoma and Texas of yep, New York. If it's... <laughs> That, look, I, I do have a plan, by the way, mentioning Texas as a side note. I think if, for global warming, I think my solution is I want to turn Texas into a rainforest. <laughs> <laughs> because, if, because all of those, all those just sad uh, statistics and things talk, they always use Texas as a, as a size scale. Sure, they reference the, 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 the size of Texas. Why not? Just go for it. <laughs> Bill, we know how much we need. Let's if, you need all, if you need Austin, we can have it cleared out, and then the rest of it is just rainforest. <laughs> But look, if we're having an election, a Queens-Brooklyn election, I'm calling this the G-Trade election. It's going to be... That's, that's a New, right. a New look, York New York bit. By Coastal Enough, look, I'm going there in a couple of weeks. i got to prep for the material. <laughs> it's going to be long, winding, hot, and too expensive, and it'll break down. But eventually, you know, you got stuck in the middle of the East River. Ah, the G-Train. <laughs> Just like the G train. Yep, that's the best I could. What do you want, the BQE? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, st I still say H Houston uh, Street. Whatever. I don't, I don't. Oh, oh, you're lucky I'm not a fighter anymore. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's right. You were golden gloves when you were uh, younger, right? Like you. Uh... Look, I used to do Muay Thai. I. <laughs> oh, that's... I played rugby. I was really vicious on the front. You know, scrum. Uh, is uh, bare knuckle real like I'm just a brutal like I even test the rules just how hard I would fight <laughs> Bite a, I bit a guy and we won you bit a guy and won yeah this was back when I was at the University of Chicago <laughs> why did that make you laugh because it's actually true and I'm impressed with myself that I remember exactly <laughs> I where just I went to college because it was in the middle of the late 1960s and I am lucky I remember any of it. <laughs> There's a vague haze of um, uh, uh, LSD and Tom Hayden. That's all I can kind of remember. So, all right. Well, uh, uh, look, 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 let's... look. Jeff has checked out. That's fine. No, no, no. That's, he, like, I, like, let's 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 put this. Like, let's get this to eight-year-old level. Okay. So, like, because oh, no. because here's what's going to happen in the election. <laughs> Predictions. Okay. Because cool. I've been like... through this a thousand times already. That those numbers are inflated. Uh, the numbers. It's the, the the number of years I voted are, are not twenty five percent of the ninety percent of what I just said. But I, I feel like I've have you ever voted? I voted every. I, I, I there's only a couple elections where I was so fucking like just 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 over it that I didn't vote and didn't talk to anybody about it. Sure. But those are those were because as I've said on the show, the reason the real reason I vote is because I want to continue to have a political opinion, and we have an entrenched thing in this. So you can't. You're not allowed to talk about. Um, breaking out of this, uh, the way that things work. People are voting for voting for voting for voting for voting. They're voting for they're voting for faith in the way the system has worked, which is a system that eighty seven percent of of everybody doesn't believe in. You know, I sat down with Yoko Ono, and she said the same thing. Um, <laughs> good. Well, as that's that's Dan, the, Dan right now. We're, uh, if you if if election day was tomorrow, who would you vote for? Would you vote? And if so, who? I'm gonna go. Well, I've, 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 I've <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna vote for Bernie Sanders, and I wish that everybody that vote, just vote, voted their conscience, because I don't think this. Is, I think the problem, and I think this is actually goes beyond like. Yeah, I did, I did, I did. Okay. I, 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 I think I feel like it goes beyond um, uh, the, the, when you were talking about America, because like, like you could explain American politics in a really easy way, which is just like you know we keep talking about how broke we are and how in trouble we are, but but until that really becomes a definable real thing, where the fact is. That that we're still rich and we're still fine the way things are like like, like and and so we're going to continue to kind of do this like 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 thing the way we did it last time. However, that's something we're going to look at. I do think that's it's something we're going to look at. I the do... idea that the country itself you can vote for anybody you want to. <laughs> Just vote if you want to vote for the Queen of England, go for it. I I want the country to be more like a Tumblr post that you see late at night. Yeah. 
where there's some sort of pyramid floating on a planet and there's, you know, and there's just sort of an ancient wisdom that's guiding us. I think that's what I want to work towards. Bernie, Re-blog. Bernie, Re-blog. It, let's say you weren't running. Who would you vote for if you weren't a candidate? If I wasn't running for president, who would I vote for? Yeah. Well, look, I would probably vote for Stevie Nicks. <laughs> I think it's time for a woman president. Of, uh, that's who I would go for. But do you think she's tough enough on immigration? I, look, I think I've seen her kick people out of our house when we used to party in Topanga Canyon. <laughs> and believe me, believe me, she knows how to elegantly get somebody out of the foyer where they've had a little bit too much in the mirror. <laughs> I mean, thank you, that's good. So people... I predict a landslide. Yeah. Anyways, nice. the uh, I had to fi- I fucking had to. It was like a fucking you had to like. It's like the in L.A. story when the when she has to like do the rest of shaving a haircut on her tuba. It's like fucking dumbass fucking pun. Um, the landslide. It was a uh, Fleetwood Mac song. I like uh, yeah, but, but wait, 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 wait. I just want to. Not because I think it's important and it's going to benefit them, but because it's in my fucking head and I have some problem. Like it's, there must be some like 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 like. This like, is th- fair. I want people like this to have a forum. Go ahead, talk. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 there must be like some like there's I bet there's somebody in the audience that's like like studying this or knows or read a book about this or something like there must be some some there's this this thing every time we have our elections every year there's this principle that that keeps coming into 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 the fore where people they they do, the, the the idea of voting sure casting a ballot elections <laughs> <laughs> um, no I no I look. Look, we rolled up our sleeves. We're having a little policy. Walk out. Let's go for it. They don't want to vote the, just to express as a natural part of the process. They don't want to just be a part of of a total tally, and then we figure that like it, we we all want to vote for the winner. We don't want to be part of the problem by voting for the wrong person. And when we have third-party candidates, it becomes a huge problem because not only do you have people not wanting to vote for the wrong party person. Senator, not a third-party candidate. Go ahead. Um, but, like, um, I think you're, like, an eighth-party candidate. The, 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 I have but, been in the past, yes. I ran for the Peace and Freedom Party, <laughs> and I actually splintered the Peace and Freedom Party. I was oh, on, my God. See? I, I was on the freedom side of the peace people we didn't get along with. <laughs> And I think I've ranted about this. I remember when Nader was, 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 was running and there was like this thing. It was like that, that big election. It was like, oh, the culture wars are at their peak because we had no fucking real problems yet at all. So at all anybody wanted to talk about was how fucking important it was whether this guy or that guy got elected. Um, and, and it was like so fucking important to everybody. I'm not saying like, I think what was that, Gore versus Vader? What was the... <laughs> It was uh, Gore versus Palpatine. But it was like so, so, so. I do understand it was important on, 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 for so many, so, so many small reasons. But By the way, we, I want to say just really quickly uh, the, the political message in the second of the latest trilogy of the Star Wars movies yeah. is a little thick. It's laid on a little thick, but I think it is accurate. I think the Bush administration is a lot like the Emperor. Thank you. <laughs> those people, those journalists who are like reporting from the Ralph Nader um, campaign headquarters where this is a guy who knew he was going to lose it was important for him to run it was important to the people that were supporting him that, well, that he was running well, and there I mean, were journalists I know, Ralph, I know Ralph he was look he was he, he thought he was going to win yeah he bought the balloons <laughs> <laughs> End of story. Uh, <laughs> there was a lot of balloons, and they couldn't release them up. They had to get rid of them. How, <laughs> there's nothing sadder than getting rid of a bunch of balloons <laughs> how, the quiet way. Mr. Sanders, how early how early does a candidate have to buy those balloons? Like you have to buy them. You can't buy them like a, two days before. You Legally, gotta... according to the Federal Election Commission, <laughs> the FC, FEC, yes, there's a certain you have to have you have to report every balloon you <laughs> receive as a donation. And also, whether it was helium or regular air or some other sort of gas that might be poisonous in a rare case. Or if a water balloon, you have to, of course, go to the Department of Interior because we're in the midst of an epic drought. Uh, Which I am trying to help solve by the volume of sweat that's coming out. When I'm in California, I deliberately perspire more. Thank you. In order to help refill Lake Powell. That is salt water, though. We have we have like a whole ocean of trust that. Trust me, trust me. This is just like Salt Lake, baby. 
<laughs> but the guy, the guy on the floor at the the, the, the journalist, like 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 while the campaign's going on, so they go like, so we're because everyone was watching, everybody that wanted either Bush or Gore, whoever the fuck was running against who, Mothra and Gamera, they were running against each other, and and every and everyone was on the edge of their seats because it was a fucking barn burner. That's not the right metaphor. The it was a hair splitter. It was a fucking uh, turtle fucker. Uh, <laughs> their their turtle vaginas are like they they have they're they're d- d- bifurcated. <laughs> with a t- very thin membrane. It was a uh, candle. It was a candle burner. Uh, t- male turtles have a two-pronged, like it's like a tuning fork, and uh, I'll get. I'll put a pin in that. <laughs> but they go. They're, I they're think like, it's time that we hear from the female turtles, frankly. But go ahead. Well, that's that's the news from Florida. That's it. We got the numbers up here. We got Will I Am and has a hologram and he's coming in and all this stuff. Oh, oh, and uh, let's go. And everyone was like, like, it was like this is fucking crazy. This, I guess this is before like 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 it was it was like weird that journalism was dead. But it was like they were like, it was fucking crazy to me because they were like I, that's when I my spirit really fucking died. I didn't vote for Ralph Nader, but watching the coverage, I was like, is they, they were like, uh, well. We now we uh, the, so that's that's the news from that fucking neck and neck race and uh, well you keep hearing his name and uh, he is of course the reason why this net is neck and neck we now go to Nancy Johnson who's over at Ralph Nader headquarters head shake head shake head shake um, uh, Nancy and and there was like and she cuts it and and Nancy's like um yeah uh yeah they're thrilled down here um. Uh, uh, because all the unspoken thing that everyone was saying was like, if you voted for Nader, you're voting for for Bush. You're voting because he's splitting the vote. It's like this isn't this is insane. This isn't that, that's not democracy. Right. The, oh, the idea have of a fair ballot. Fo- focusing on the outcome and then backing into your behavior as an end user. That's our fucking disease. I firmly believe that we should have. A Scandinavian style system in a lot of ways, not only the way we tax corporations, but also elections. Multiple parties. I want to have a WikiLeaks party. <laughs> where you, a pirate where party. you bring Assange back. One and... of those crazy pirate parties they have up in Sweden and all that stuff. I want I want to make sure that, that we have a, a, a fantastic array of different choices you have, like a nice buffet if you want to uh, vote for like like a nice little fishy eggy breakfast thing. You can go ahead and vote for it. Fantastic breakfasts in Scandinavia, by the way, too. Go with me. You'll find out. Trust me. <laughs> but also, I think, you know, just have a little democratic system like that. And if you want to have, you know, play fun and games, you do a little girl who let a dragon tattoo thing. And, you know, you can still keep that up for all the guys who want to do the bad, bad stuff. We can have a little ta- dragon tattoo <laughs> game for you. Yeah, I mean, it's democracy. 